Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a video tutorial for the new Boston. Now, in this uh, Ajax series, we've already looked at um, using the um, uh, XML HTTP variables we've been using and we've been, we've been um, posting data to our page uh, using the get uh, get method so we've been um, picking data up in our include file uh, using dollar underscore get now what if we want to send post data through to uh, another file so we're going to do exactly the same format as we've done before but this time we're going to create a little program or script rather that allows us to have an input box on the page and a submit button. Now, when the user clicks this submit button, we're going to be transformed, uh, transferred, sorry, obviously using Ajax to update.ink.php. And what this is going to do is it's going to insert uh, a, a piece of data, if you like, um, into the database. So let's first of all have a look at the database structure and what we're actually going to be doing here. So ID, we can ignore this for now. This is a primary key and it's auto increment. So if you're following along this tutorial and you want to create this table, uh, we've got the database called Ajax, the table called data, um, and inside of this, we've got the ID and data field. So ID, like I just said, is an integer data type. It's the primary key and we've got an auto increment. So for every um, uh, insert we make to this thing for every record we create this is going to be an auto incrementing value if you've watched my other tutorials on databases uh, you'll understand what this is uh, if not go back and have a look at them so data is just simply going to be the uh, a, a, just a string of data it, it will literally just be a string of data so uh, this example is just going to demonstrate how to input uh, something onto there and then hopefully you can come away from this uh, knowing how to use this post um, this post method through Ajax and you can uh, incorporate this into your own website with uh, posting data. Okay so the first thing we're going to do is design our form. So let's go back over to our index.php file and we'll start to create a, a rough outline of our page. So here we've got our root HTML tags, then our head tag uh, and then our body tag. So inside head, we're going to be putting the, um, the function that's actually going to update the database. Uh, well, it's going to call Ajax and then, uh, and then post the data to this update.ink.php. So we're going to transfer data from the form to this function or call this function, which is going to pick up this specific field on the form using the get element by ID uh, in JavaScript. And then we're going to get the value of that form and uh, submit it through. So that's just a rough outline of what we're going to be doing. So first of all, we're just going to create an area where we will eventually write our Ajax into. So uh, we've got script uh, type and we'll end the script there. Remember the type is text JavaScript because um, Ajax is essentially JavaScript um, and XML. So inside of our body, what do we need to do? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is just simply um, create a label. So I'm going to say in insert. So I'm going to say insert, and then I'm going to create a um, um, an input field uh, with a type text. Um, the name of this is going to be um, let's call it um, insert text. Uh, in fact, we'll just call it text for now. That will that will keep things simple. Um, okay, so now what we want to do is we want to create um, a button. So let's create an input type. Uh, button. We'll give this a value of um, submit and we'll want to say on click equals and we want to call a function name. Now the function name will be inside uh, here uh, which will then process this update.ink.php uh, using um, uh, uh, Ajax. So I'm going to call the function um, let's say insert Okay, so we've called this insert function, which obviously at the moment doesn't exist. So let's create that now. Okay, so just to give you an idea of what this program, uh, well, how this is going to work, um, what we're going to do is we're going to make an alert quickly uh, just to check that this function is being called properly. So I'm just going to write OK in there. So let's go back to our preview our, uh, our HTML. So we've got insert and we've got a text value here that we can type in. So we can type a value into here um, and then click submit and it should be alerted by calling this function. So let's just type in test. 
click submit and we get OK back. Now let's try and access this um, this value uh, here, this, this text value here. So I'm going to say, um, we'll just uh, create a new variable um, called, um, uh, let's say text value, and that's going to equal get element by ID, and that is text dot value. 